If you're a wedding photographer, an event photographer, or a photographer who just takes a lot of photos in general, you'll know how tedious it is to cull through or to go through all of your photos to find the bad ones. There are other softwares that you can use to do this, but sometimes it's nice to just do it all within Lightroom, especially when you import your photos directly in there from your SD card. There are a few ways to do it. You can just go through everything manually. You can open up a different program. You can use Adobe Bridge. But recently there was this new plugin that came out for Lightroom called Wand, and it uses AI to find all the bad photos. Right now it's currently in its beta form and it's free, so I'm gonna drop a link in the description so you can go and sign up and get it for yourself. So basically this plugin works by going through all of your photos, finding overexposed, underexposed, out of focus photos, and it can also detect bad faces. For example, if your subject has their eyes closed, if they're not smiling the greatest, and if there's a better version of it, this software can find it. And then once it's all done processing, it'll uh, select all of the bad ones and select them all as purple. Purple is just an arbitrary color for them. You can go afterwards and change the color of all the rejected photos later on. So let's go and check out how to actually use this plugin. So once you get to their website, you can see that it's made by a company called Post Pro. So basically all you have to do is go to the top right and sign up or click on start now or get access to get to the sign up screen. You put your name, email and a password in, sign up, and then you can go to my account up at the top right. And that will present you with a little button down at the bottom that says download wand plugin. You're gonna download it and it's gonna give you a zip. Just unzip it and you don't have to worry about going into the folder. Next up, we're gonna open up Lightroom and go to file and go down to the plugin manager. Inside of this, there's a little button that says add, and we're gonna go to our download folder where we have that folder. You don't have to open up the folder, you just select the folder itself, and then down at the bottom, you just say select folder, and that will prompt the plugin to be added to Lightroom. Next, within this plugin, you're gonna to want to log in with the same credentials that you made your account with on the PostPro website, just your email and password. And if it's all good, then Lightroom's gonna give you a little prompt that says successfully logged in. So once this is all in, you just press done and you are good to go. So this plugin works in three different ways. You can run it on the newest import. So that's the automatic folder that gets added into your library panel. You can select a bunch of photos and run it for the whole selection, or you can just run it through your entire catalog altogether. Now, I'm not very organized within Lightroom with using multiple catalogs. I just have one and it has over 13,000 photos in it because I shoot hyperlapses. So this is probably gonna take days to run if I run it on my entire catalog. So I'm just gonna open up this one folder, uh, select all of my images here, go up to file, plug in extras, and then run on selection. It's gonna say, are you sure you want to do this? And then it's gonna start running. It's gonna be, showing some weird things that look like it's not supposed to, like saying uploading files. Basically, you just let the plugin run and do its thing, and then you're gonna be prompted at the end once it's all finished. If the plugin worked and it did what it was supposed to, you'll be prompted with another pop-up that says one process was successful. From there, you just press OK, and then down at the bottom in your collections, you'll see a new collection set called Wand Latest Import. And underneath that, you'll see accepted and rejected folders. So rejected are all the photos that Juan deems to be not good enough. And then accepted is obviously the ones that it thinks that are okay. So if you go to the Juan latest import folder, you can see all of them together. If you go to the accepted folder, you just see the accepted ones and the rejected ones are in the rejected folder. And you can see that all the rejected photos are purple here. Uh, this is just giving you the purple label. You, you can filter them on and off with the little filter buttons at the bottom right, showing just the purple, just the non-filtered ones, just the white ones. Then you can see here, I can select all of the ones that are purple, go to photo, set color rating as red. So if you like to set red as your bad photos, you can change them all at the same time, and now they're all red. So since I personally don't shoot photos for weddings or events, I don't have any photos that I could use to test this out with on the faces like one of its main purposes, but, but I was able to use it for photos that were under and overexposed and out of focus. 
For the most part, it worked pretty well. It didn't take too long to run through the selection that I had. And overall, it was a pretty simple and easy uh, installation and process to run as a whole. So it's pretty cool. It's still in beta, as I said, so uh, they may end up charging for it later on. So if you're interested in this, you might as well get it now while it's free, just in case maybe if they start charging for it later on. I'll be interested to see where they go with this uh, going forwards. I'm sure they're gonna be working on improving the artificial intelligence behind it, uh, maybe improving some of the functions and new uh, features of it, but for the most part right now where it stands, it works well and why not get it because it's completely free. So with all that being said, if you're interested in learning more about Lightroom, I'll drop a playlist of a few different more tutorials you can check out. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment and if you liked it, drop a like and if you loved it, drop a subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.